Marguerite's methods were really very regimented. She would demonstrate doing a form just like a little cup. So everyone would throw cylinders one after another and then pick out one piece that you'd consider the most perfect one. So then the next day, make a taller cylinders. And the idea was to get that as perfect as possible. So you'd pick out just one of those and everything else would go back into the scrap clay. And probably the most complex piece was to make a teapot. So you'd make a row of teapots and then save just one. And this would take up a whole summer. It's hard to believe, but you made a lot of pots. The criteria was perfection of form. If you threw one pot or a hundred pots, they had to be perfect in form. And yet, even while that was the ideal, things were beginning to change toward other interests. Because after you've thrown a hundred pots that are absolutely perfect, all you can do then is be imaginative about the surface. And certainly artists were at that time, but it was limiting. So there had to be something else happening. Uh, some other idea had to come into play.